Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you what Galton Board is and some statistics I have created about it. So in Galton Board, when a ball hits a peg, there's a 50% chance for it to go left or right. So for it to fall into leftmost slot, it will have to go left every single time. For it to fall in the middle, it has to go left and right the same number of times. Since there are lots of ways that can happen, more balls end up in the center than on the edges and this creates a predictable distribution pattern marked by the blur line on this video. So now, as you can see, the balls follow the brown line almost. There were differences in that board and mine. While that board had 174 pins and 100 balls, mine, had, mine has 15 pins and 15 balls. Of course this is to make the things easier for my computer because it will take a lot more time if we had the board in this video. So the main theory here is the unlikely things never happen. For example, if you flip this hundred times or maybe a million times, they will always follow this brown line. For example, all the balls should never fall into the same place. And it almost always follows the brown line, like I said. But if you try something enough times, unlikely things will happen. To be fair though, if I tried the same number of times with 174 pins and 100 balls, I wouldn't be able to crack it in this short amount of time. But since I had 15 pins and 15 balls, I cracked this with, within 3 hours. Now let me show you the results. As you can see, all of the balls fell into the same place 48 times but when we tried 900 million times and this means there is a 0.000005% chance of all of the balls to end up in the same place this is very near to impossible but it is not also I'm going to show you guys some other thing as you can see here it took us 20 million times for all of the balls to end up in the same place but for the second time for it to be happen it took only 8 million more times for the third time 16 million more times and so on and I actually, if we look at this one, here 9 to 10, it only took approximately 1 million times. So, as you can see, it changed a lot. And trying it 48 times wasn't enough. But since it took a lot of time, I tried it 48 times. As you can see it here. And I believe the real percentage is very, very close to 0.000005%. But it's probably quite not it. So yeah. Also, I'm going to show you guys something else. If we create a board with 15 pins, but 5 balls only and run the simulation again as you can see there is a very much higher percentage of it happening if we calculate that a thousand times within 161 thousand times that makes 0.6% so yeah ball number changed a lot of things 
for example, if I only make it 20 and not 15. Alright everyone, it has been 73 minutes and still there hasn't been a case that the 20 balls fell into the same pipe or whatever and if to give a number if we are to give a number my computer dropped the balls 291 million times if you remember if we make this even five only and run it it will drop the balls thousand times in a matter of seconds but if it is 20 it does not happen if it's 10 it takes a little more while as you can see it will take a while for it to happen a thousand times so in this way you just saw how exponential it grows so yeah the percentages we had before were pretty close to true by the way the one we had 0 0.00005 I'm mentioning that so yeah that's it for this video thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed